outcry among restaurants, card rooms, and other businesses to LA County's new safer at home orders. As Ted, NBC 4's Ted Chen reports for us tonight, as shutting them down comes with a high price to a number of communities. Casa Vega restaurant in Sherman Oaks says outside dining allowed it to bring back all of its workers until Thanksgiving weekend when it once again had to furlough most of them. Owner Christina Vega worries that this time the consequences will be even more dire. So I'll go without pay this month and I have four children and a mortgage and everything else but I have savings but my dishwasher doesn't and he has five children and he will go homeless and I think it's cruel. Businesses like Casa Vega argue that the new restrictions designed to protect the most vulnerable are actually hurting them, and cities are backing them up. Leaders from Commerce, Bell, and Hawaiian Gardens stood in the outdoor card room of the Commerce Casino, now shut down, and said if casinos go down, they go down. We have already lost 50% of revenue and have laid off over 40% of our staff. We have already eliminated police officer positions, reduced employee salaries. Shutting down the casino is like shutting down the city of Commerce. What these card rooms and restaurants have in common is investment in outdoor structures like this one. The Commerce Casino spent a million and a half dollars to build this, and they feel like their investment is being pulled out from under them. Casa Vega says it spent $85,000 on its outdoor dining, and at least one restaurant is defying the county order, Eat at Joe's in Redondo Beach, allowing customers to continue to eat outside Joe's. It's wrong. And uh, I just decided to, you know, have to take a stand for my, really for my employees more than anybody else. This would be a moot point. And little help, these businesses argue, means poverty and economic disaster will spread as fast as the virus. In Commerce, Ted Chen, NBC4 News.